Hey what's up guys it's Eugene here and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to host a 1.14 Minecraft server and if you're wondering uh, how this is going to work you don't need Hamachi, you don't need Minecraft Realms but you do need to keep your computer on to keep the server running you don't have to keep Minecraft on but you can just keep the folder itself on and I'll explain in a little bit <clears throat> but first you want to go to the Minecraft website, Minecraft.net. Yeah, here I'll just probably like put this in the link in the description below, and then you'll go over to, to this page over here, and it'll say you can read this through if you want. But I already know what this says. Just go to download Minecraft server 1.14.jar. Do this, and then you want to keep that. I'm gonna discard it because I already have the file. But just download this file. And then once you're done with that, go over here, right click on your desktop, go to folder, call this whatever you want. Like I'm just going to call it um, YouTube Minecraft Server Tutorial. So now we have this folder. Now what, actually I do need that file. <laughs> Keep. Okay, it's done. Now I just put this in here, preferably rename it server1. So we don't get any problems. Right, now that that's done, right click, go over to new, and then go hover over text document, and you're going to click that, and then leave it as it is, and then double click into it. And then, I'm going to post this in the description below, where you guys can uh, uh, copy this. Okay, so. We're going to do this is a two, I'm going to explain how this works. This is a two gigabyte server, which basically means it uses two gigabytes of your RAM, your computer built in RAM, dedicated for the server. And I'll recommend using at least two. There's also a three version if you want, but I don't have it here. But I only I have the two gigabyte server and the four gigabyte server. I recommend using just four as much as you can because and since my computer has 16 gigs of RAM you can ch you can really check by going here right clicking piece this PC sorry my bad and then it'll bring up this bit this part over here and it'll say install memory RAM and, then, and like I said I have 16 gigs of RAM here so I have plenty of RAM to spare so I may as well allocate 4 gigs so I'm gonna allocate 4 gigs of RAM to the server and then I'll post this in the description below so you guys can copy so I'll do this, post it over here, and then we're going to want to do save as. Save as. We're going to call the file run.bat. And then we're going to switch the file into all files. And then we're going to save. Oh, we still have this. Go away. Now, what you want to do is run this command or this file. Right. So now we got this. You need to agree to the EU, EULA in order to run the server. Go to EULA.txt for more information. So basically, some people may not get this slow. You might have some problems. It might say error or something like that. And what happens is you only get the run server and server file, and then you don't get all of these files. So basically, what you want to do is go into java install the latest version of java because i know most people who play minecraft already have java but it's best if you install a new one see if it works if it doesn't work still doesn't work go to java se development kit and then install the one for your um uh version your operating system and this is for 64 bit windows just install that you don't really have to do anything you may have to sign up for whatever oracle this thing is though but it's not really anything i had to sign up for it as well just use maybe use a different email sign up and install it. it should be nothing so once that's done it should have worked now what you want to do as it says here go to eula.txt for more information so we're going to go into eula and we're going to type true and and then just type true and then close and then save now we can close this and then uh, double click on run again it should work as you can see it's preparing the world already 
basically at this stage your server is playable already but there is still one more thing to do though so we're gonna let this finish load basically once it says done the server is already up and running I will show you actually no not now I have to finish let you know because the point is is to play with other people who are not on your LAN like in under the same connection as you basically you're gonna let people from like a cr on the other side of the world connect to you let's say your friend lives in I don't know like I don't know Poland you're gonna let them connect over to your computer uh, and play on your Minecraft world so this won't work for them currently but we're gonna press stop now what we're gonna want to do is you can go into server and then go down here right so go into the server text make sure it should be in a different text different file but just if if it's in a different file just open it with notepad double click it'll ask you to install some crappy application from a Microsoft store but just go look for notepad and then just open it with that it works either way and we're gonna have to go scroll down and then look for server ports and server IP so now what we're gonna want what we're gonna want to do is type in command prompt over here and open it and then we're gonna type in IP config and then we're gonna get all of this so basically we're gonna want to get want to know what our IPv4 address is it is 192.168 Zero one seventy seven. So what you're going to want to do is, uh, if I can copy, I can't copy. Okay, we'll just type it in one nine two dot one six eight point zero point one seven seven. It will be different on your computer. Whatever it is, just type it in here. Right. And also, this port thing is really important. You have to remember it. Because I just copy it right now. Um, and also, the default gateway. You're going to have to write that down as well so two things that you're going to have to note down so ipv4 address goes into the server ip uh, section here in the server file folder i mean notepad or whatever file that is in the minecraft folder minecraft server folder so you're going to paste that in and then once that's done you close it and then make sure you save it and then remember that port i told you earlier 25565 the port is 25565 and now what you're going to want to do is you're going to have that default gateway I told you to write down it's different from mine it's definitely going to be different from mine you're going to want to go into the URL of your browser or whatever control and then paste and then you're going to press enter and it should bring you into some sort of login page it won't be similar to mine it won't be the same as mine it definitely will be different but it will some have something along the lines of user username user login like user like username and then password you don't have to type in you're gonna have, you're gonna want to go to your router look around the, the unit of the router and then you're going to find the user log your username and password in my case i only have password for mo but for most people you're going to have a username and then a password and maybe I'll and I might link I might put a link in the description just to show you maybe a link to a tutorial on how to find your login on your router so yeah but I already know my password so we're gonna log in here and then log in now this part is a little bit complicated because I can't show you exactly how to do it now that you're in here you can see all of this I'm gonna you know you shouldn't be able to see this this is my IP address public IP address so I'm gonna <laughs> censor that right so we're going to go to port forwarding port forwarding it might be different it won't exactly be the same on here but it's, it should be roughly the same you just have to go around and look for port forwarding uh, I already have this here but we're gonna do do it again for the sake of this video YouTube YouTube MC server right now we're going to select our PC and it should be the same as the IPv4 address make sure it's the same as this and then for my 
for my uh, create new rule on this uh, serve like admin like router control thing I don't know what's this called default gateway it's a little bit different you may have to choose a port to port forward and then it might be tell you to select from a wide range of different things but it should be uh, I've already seen some other default gateways like menus like this some of them will tell you to type in the port 25565 255 okay this is wrong make sure it's 25565 25565 because last time I typed in 2665 25665 and it didn't work TCP UDP and if it tells you to select something and you see the TCP UDP option make sure you select that and that should be done you're gonna you, you can press apply and it says the TC, TCP ports overlapping it's because I already have a uh, rule here that tells that port forwards this port and then once you have that done make sure you you uh, save it and then make sure the status is equipped make sure it's uh, you know being used the rule is always enabled and then once that's done when your server is up every anyone from anywhere on planet earth should be able to connect to your server right that should be the end of the tutorial I might uh, put some links in the description to help you guys install these things if there are any errors uh, along the way and also with port forwarding of course I think that's the trickiest part because I can't we can't I can't exactly I can't show you exactly how to do it so now we're going to have to run again and you can always change uh, what the world is here you can put it in your own custom world but make sure it's named the world I'm pretty sure you can change it to what to whatever in these settings here but we're not going to go into that but make sure if you want to import a world here make sure it's named world and then delete this one and just put your the world you want to play multiplayer on okay there we go now it says done so we're gonna load on Minecraft by the way your server once this thing's open, your server's already up, so anyone can join. You don't have to be in it in order to keep it online. You just have to have this command on. Also, if you want your friends from the other side of the world to connect, like whoever and whoever's not connected to your local area network or Wi-Fi, you're gonna want to search this up and give them this. Search this up and then click over here and then it should show your public IPv4 address and then this is it and obviously it's going to be censored for you guys because it's your public IPv4 address is not something you should be showing random people only give it to people you trust friends you trust and then they need this to uh, connect into your server they're gonna want to put this into direct connect and multiplayer right so as an admin we're going to want to go to direct connect and then type in zero and then join server and it will tell you logging in encrypting you don't have to type in your IPv4 address just type in zero and you log in oh uh, yeah wow there's actually wow <laughs> it's an amazing seed actually Mesa biome I think I might start it's lagging a little bit yeah so we're basically on the server already you can see me it's actually amazing seed I might if I can I might put the seed in the description it's amazing amazing uh, spawn uh, if you have any questions just comment down below I most likely will reply just tell me what's the problem and then I will reply so I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial uh, and I hope you guys like this video make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel you know subscribe you know <laughs> hit that bell button yeah yeah hit that bell button i'm kidding you don't have to but thanks for watching see you guys in the next video